In this video we're going to show you a little demo of how PC Repair Tracker works um, and if it's right for your business. Um, PC Repair Tracker is a piece of software, it's a script that um, you have hosted online, um, whether it's from as a hosting click.co.uk or whether it is uh, hosted by yourself, you can have it hosted locally if you've got a web server. Um, or you can have a host on, a, on another hosting provider. Um, with hosting click, you get to have the benefits of um, all the free upgrades, um, installations, any problems where we, we can we can try and fix for you. Um, all you got to do is submit a support to get hostingclick.co.uk. Right. So if we um, first thing you see when you um, go to the web go to the, the URL, the website address of your repair tracker is this login screen. Uh, you can have as many users as you want, so all your technicians can have a username and a password. You can also customize the uh, logo to your own logo. So we'll log in as the administrator. Once you log in, you'll see this as your main um, uh, dashboard. So you've got stickies, so you can have uh, sticky notes on here for you and all your um, technicians to see. You'll be able to add stickies, remove stickies, um, and you can also uh, have stickies to certain technicians. Uh, you can add them to calendars, there's a calendar built in, uh, you can remove them from all, you can print the sticky uh, or you can edit edit the, the actual um, text on there. Um, you've got your customers on the left hand side here so you can see uh, who's currently on the bench being worked on, who's waiting to be worked on and any recent um, work orders. There's no recent work orders in this demo at the moment. Um, so if you click on the menu you can check in, uh, check out, a device, uh, you can stick your wall, your calendar, you can browse any text messages you've sent via the system or any emails you've sent. You've also got a point of sale, so you have got you can have your stock control, your inventory, your suppliers, and you've got a, a really good report system built in. Um, so if you want to check a computer in, you click on check in and you start typing. If you've had it, if the customer is, has been in before, you start typing the name and it'll come up with the name of the customer. They haven't been in before. Um, you start typing the name and you can check that person in. So we can click on check in, and then you get to add all the customers' details. You can you've got their name, phone number, customers, uh, company, uh, whether it's a priority or not, how you'd like how they'd like to be contacted, the actual um, model of the computer, any notes, um, any assets um, assets that come with the actual uh, device. Username, passwords for the machine. Um, what the problem is, so you can type the problem, or you can just tick on one of the preloaded problems. Uh, the email address and all the whole information on the computer, if you wish. So once you've done that, you can check it in, um, and then you then get a job sheet just like this. Um, so I've checked this one in as myself. The notes comes with charge and bag, the passwords, uh, the problem that's wrong with the computer. Um, when you check a computer in, you also get a claim ticket, which is looked like this, which you can then print off and give to hand to the customer, and then the customer then got has got a record that they've dropped it off at your shop. Um, you can also email at the customer as well, and you can this can all be edited so you can change how it looks and all the text and so on in there. You can also add a photo of the device that's booking if you've got a webcam on your booking machine, and then you'll then put that device here. So it's a little bit mucky; it doesn't look very nice. You can also show that so when they pick it up they know exactly what they've seen uh, what they've dropped off um, you've also got the pricing so you can click on this bar here and then it'll show you you can set your own prices so you can add these quick label ones so for example if you've got a minimum fee of uh, a maximum bench fee you can click on on that and then it'll add to the, the work order so then it shows up as a total um, you've got notes here so you can click on notes start typing a note So you can uh, say that, then that, then any technician that logs back in will see this. Um, you've also got private notes, so only the technicians can see it because it, part of the system is the customer can log into their their portal if they want, and they can see all these notes. Or when you print a report off for them, if they if you want to, they'll see all these notes, but they won't see these notes here. Uh, you've also got manual. Uh, you've also got sort of preloaded scans. So if you defrag the computer, you can click on that add that to the job and then it'll say at the bottom here that um, a scan was done just down here it tells exactly when what was done uh, if you notice this bar down here floating around you can it's like a quick links bar so if you wanted to go to the um, customer information click on that it'll take you straight up there or go down so if you want to go to the notes it'll take you straight down to the notes 
Uh, you've got a dashboard, which tells you what computer is currently on the bench and so on. So it gets two on the bench here. Um, any service calls or remote sessions in, in progress. And that's pretty much the, there's, there's quite a lot more to the repair side, but that's pretty much everything that you'll probably use uh, to start off with before you are diving deep into the system. Uh, also, you've got recurring invoices as well, so you can set recurring invoice up for the customer, and then you'll get a notice every time a recurring invoice is due. You can click on that, and then you can then send out the invoice to the customer. Um, you've got the admin section here, so you can have more than one store. So if you've got five stores, you can have other stores down here, and then you've all got the same uh, information, but for all five stores. It's all web-based, so it can be accessed from anywhere in the world. It's all secure. We do recommend having an SSL for the repair tracker, just in case. It's, it's definitely worth being secure there. Um, settings, you, you, there's, there's a, there's a, you can edit quite a lot of the system here. Um, it gives you... You can pretty much customize it to how you'd like it. Um, so that's yeah, that's pretty much PC repair tracker for the repair side. Point of sale side, pretty self-explanatory. You've got all your stock here. I've got no stock on this demo one, but all your stock built in. You can say, for example, someone wants to buy a cable. You can add that to your cart. It comes into your cart here. I've added cables in the past, and then you can check it out, and then that's really a, a sales receipt or an invoice. Um, you can also go back to this job here and if you wanted to finish the job off you can go to checkout because the customers come in first thing we'll do is we've now finished the job so we'll put it as ready for collection it then goes from being on the bench to ready for collection down here so this is ready customer comes in they'd like to, they'd like to collect it you can then check the computer out it's saying that are you sure you want to check it out and then it'll go here so you can Ask him how you're paying and paying cash. If you want to put that, it does work to all the change and so on for you, all the address. If you want to put that in, add payment, and then this is the final part. So it's saying that they're paying cash, picked up by the customer, hit checkout, and then the customer, then you can then print off a receipt for the customer. They've got the receipt, you give them the computer, and then it's done. So when you go back to repairs, you'll see that the recent work orders here, it's all done, and it's uh, it's now checked out. Uh, a nice little feature is you can also do a once it's checked out, you can do a thank you letter by email or by or you can print one off and post out. Click on the thank you letter, type the customer's email address in, it'll send them a letter, just uh, an email or a letter to say thank you, and then you can edit that letter so it just shows that you're following up to ask them how the computer's going. Um, so that's pretty much the, the basics of PC Repair Tracker. Um, if you'd like to have a demo of it uh, yourself or would like to log in and have a, have, a, have a play around, contact us at cs at hostingclick.co.uk or visit our website at hostingclick.co.uk and you can click on the contact us page. Thank you.